What's up guys? Uh, thank you for joining me for part one. Now part two is the hardware side of WWDC. Thanks for sticking with me this long. Now we're going to jump straight into iPad. iPad got a whole new refresh. Um, if you have a 9.7 inch iPad, it is now a It is now a 10.5 inch display. So they've kind of taken the be uh, bevels and pushed them out. Uh, it looks really, really good. A lot of screen in such a small body, which is really welcoming. Um, we're also gonna get the new A10X chip, which allows 20% um, faster performance, I believe, on CPU uh, compared to iPhone 7's A10 chip. And then we're also getting a um 40 percent increase in gpu now uh, things to note here is the a10 fusion chip is a quad core chip whereas the a10x chip uh the cpu is a six core um for the cpu and it's going to be a 12 core for the gpu so keep that in mind when it comes to processing power the refresh rate on the new iPad screen is 120 hertz. Now that is a lot of smoothness, so that is welcoming. And it adapts between app to app, so when you don't need that 120 uh, gigahertz or megahertz, um, it will go to where it needs. Uh, iPad is now brighter with 600 nits iPad is now wide color gamut like P3 color rating as you see on the new MacBooks from 2016 and 2017 which that's coming up and you also you also get that 10 hour battery life that you got from the year before and I'm sorry that's 30% faster CPU speed according to Apple. Apple refreshed the iMac line today which was a long waited wait um yeah, I know, that didn't really make sense today. <laughs> you can find the spec sheet here beside me. And it was it was really nice. They uh, introduced uh, VR capabilities, teamed up with Lucas Films, and showed a really cool Star Wars VR that they use with HTC Vive's VR. And um, it was just nice to see how much power Apple is actually looking into placing into these devices. They also showed off the capability of being able to have external GPUs. So it really looks like all you Windows people out there can no longer say you can't game on a Mac because, well, now you can. And it proves it with the new iMac Pro. Yes, we finally got a Pro line and Apple was claiming that uh, base it can get 11 teraflops and Max it can get 22 teraflops. So to put that in um, in reflection, I believe PlayStation 4 has 8 teraflops, so there's that. The new iMac is 40% brighter than last gen. You can connect one 5K display or you can connect two 4K displays. Uh, this is enabled by, of course, Thunderbolt 3 or USB Type-C. Um, that Apple has included in the I.O. We also get new Apple mouses, we get uh, magic mouses, we get new keyboard, and as well as a space gray option on the Pro model of the iMac, which is a nice welcome. MacBook got a gigahertz refresh, and well, welcome seventh gen everything. It was finally time for MacBook Pro and MacBook to get Cabby Lake and Apple introduced Cabby Lake in all of their products today, even those iPad Pros. Uh, iPad can turbo boost up to 4.1 gigahertz, 500 nit display, and 10 hour battery life, but like we saw last year, we'll have to see about that. Last but not least, HomePod. We all knew it, we all claimed it. Apple was going to release a Siri speaker basis but apple kind of blew me away and then also dragged me down into the gutters because well remember when apple said a home ai needs a display where where is our display apple we didn't get that but we did get an awesome speaker with 12 tweeters at the bottom 
a four inch subwoofer in the center and six microphones on top so no matter where you are or how far away you are Siri should be able to hear you say those key words that I'm not going to say uh, to make all your phones go off. Now I will say Apple showed how they are going to be able to use two if you wanted or multi-room if you wanted um, but if you just use one it kind of analyzes the room and tries to give you the best quality music no matter where you are so that's really nice and welcoming it also supports home kit and well you can turn off your lights and all of that good stuff and uh so this is what the series speaker looks like all right guys that about wraps up both videos if there is a topic you want more detail about and i can break those down for you comment in below so that i can get those videos out to you guys as these betas roll out i will bring you that content when i possibly can and i look forward to seeing you on the next video if you've liked these videos give them a thumbs up subscribe if you are not a subscriber to keep updated on these things that i'm doing if you joined us for our live blog, thank you. It was my first live blog and there were some glitches, but I got them all worked out before we started. Next time, I would like to include photos and video of what is actually happening and I hope to get that worked out soon. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This is Zach from Zach Live Reviews and take it easy.